I need to use this lookup value to look up the correct price of 43.69. But when I enter my VLOOKUP formula and copy it down, I get NA. In this lookup situation, we're given a lookup value that has the first four characters in each cell that we need to match in the product ID column. So we start our formula equals, and we have to use the left function. I need the left function to look at all the text, comma, and it has to take only the first four characters. Close parentheses, Control Enter, double click, and send it down. I definitely see 4455. I should get a match, and I should be able to use VLOOKUP to get that. 2695 and bring it back to the cell. But there's a visual cue here. That looks like a number, but it's a line to the left. That definitely looks like a number, but it's a line to the right. The default behavior for numbers is to be aligned to the right. So when you see numbers aligned to the left, you know Excel does not think it's a number. Now let's go ahead and try VLOOKUP and see what happens. Right after the equal sign, VL, I see VLOOKUP in blue, tab. The lookup value, well, that's what left is delivering, comma. Table array, that's the lookup table. So I highlight, and I need to use the F4 key to lock it, because we're copying it down, comma. Column index number, I count on my fingers, one, two, three. The third column has the thing I'm trying to retrieve, so I put a three in column index number, comma. We're doing exact match. That means we're trying to match exactly those four characters. So you can put false, or you can type a 0. That formula right there should work, Control-Enter. But we get an NA. If I hit the F2 key, click inside the VLOOKUP function, I see the screen tip lookup value. When I click on it, it highlights everything. If I hit the F9 key, I can evaluate it and see that, sure enough, those double quotes means Excel thinks it's a text number. And text numbers will never match up as equivalent to an actual number. Now I'm going to click the Escape key. And we could do a test down here. I put a label, and I'm just going to use a formula to test. Is a text number equal to a real number? Now that equal sign right there is a comparative operator that asks, are these two things the same? When I hit Enter, there's your answer. It's false. Now there's a well-known trick inside of Excel for converting a text number to an actual number. F2, we can do any math operation. And it will convert the text number to an actual number. Times 1 divided by 1, double negative. I'm going to use plus 0. Whatever the math operation is, it has to not change the value. Now watch what happens when I control enter, double click and send it down. Now they're actual numbers. So if I come up in F2, all I have to do is after the left, add 0. And now when I control enter, it works perfectly. Double click and send that formula down. Go to the last cell, hit F2. And sure enough, we're using left to get the correct lookup value. And now VLOOKUP can understand it's a number because we did a math operation. All right, here's the bonus trick. If your lookup value is a number, but the first column of the lookup table has text numbers, then of course you're going to get an NA. In this case, we need to convert that to a text number. All you do is you use ampersand, the join symbol, and double quote, double quote. That's a text string with nothing in it. It's sort of like adding 0. If I click on Lookup Value and hit the F9 key, now we have exactly what we want. Control-Z to undo that. Control-Enter, double click, and send it down. All right, if you want to learn more about the VLOOKUP function, check out this video. If you want to learn about an alternative lookup function, check out Index and Match.